So we are going to present you the two different types of product range, the touring product and the installation product. So basically what you have on the device, you have four inputs, and those four inputs can be microphone input or line input. So you have a pad on each of them, and you also have a separate phantom power for each of them. We have four output and two gigabit Ethernet connection with integrated switch dedicated for Dante application. Um, regarding power supply, you have two power supply, one PoE. So basically, you use the power over Ethernet from the switch to power up the device. And you can use together with this, you can use a, a power con through one to connect to the device. And uh, basically, if one of the other fail, you're going to maintain the supply of the device and it will keep, keep uh, on running. Um, you can access the device through um, a web interface and you will access to all the parameters. We have an integrated DSP. So this DSP will allow you to uh, set the device as a matrix. So you have in eight input, eight output, four analog, four digital input, for analog, for digital output. So we can process audio coming from analog input, Dante input, like a computer, for instance, and do audio processing delays and so on. And you can as well um, output those um, channels on the Dante controller to connect maybe two Dante products from Sync Audio on the same network, so one in a different room, and then you will have remotely the audio channel from the first room, let's say. You can buy this um, Dante device either with the four in, four out, or only with the four output. And as you can see in my presentation, we use Ethercon and the trick connector. So uh, we have the Ethercon on the back, the port control one, and the XLR connector on the front. Uh, the installation product are using uh, Phoenix connector. So it's cheaper, easier for installation. You have, um, similarly, you have uh, the PoE on a regular Ethernet uh, connector, not Ethercon, obviously. And you have a DC connector. Um, you can use any type of uh, power supply, 24 volt. So you can drive multiple uh, DBI uh, product with uh, a single power supply. In combination with the analog in and analog out, you will have some general purpose uh, uh, connector. So those connectors are used to connect, for instance, a potentiometer, a button, LED. So each connector um, can be used for different kind of application. We'll show you shortly in the, the web interface what you can do with it. But it's very handy if you want to do an installation and you want to set it up very, very quick, within 15 minutes, you can set 99% of the requirement from your client. Specification wise, for protocol, we can support Dante and AES67. Um, the input level are 20 plus 20 dBU. We have a very, very high performance ADC and DAC. As you can see in my spec, we can achieve more than 120 dB signal to noise ratio on the input. The pad is minus 20 dB. And same for the output, the maximum output level is plus 20. And you can see distortion is very, very low. Resolution is 24 bits and the sampling fre frequency is 48 kilohertz. And regarding the PoE, it's PoE class three. So basically any regular PoE switch can uh, handle the power for this device. Now we're going to show you the matrix. So basically, on the left-hand side, you will see the analog input. Um, we are using a, a Neutric XLR combo connector. We have the pad. We have um, mute polarity, which is quite handy. So it's separate for each channel. We have 10 parametric EQs, compressor limiter, including a soft knee. Everything goes into a matrix. So for each output, you get the separate mixer with eight input. 
on the output side, on the right hand side of the presentation, you will see we can control the volume mute polarity. On top of the mute polarity for analog output, we have uh, delays, which is very handy when you have um, multiple speakers in the room and you want to uh, achieve um, a very good current in your wavefront. So you can set the delay according to the distance between the speakers. We also have 10 parametric EQs on the output and same a compressor limiter. Um, obviously, only for analog XLR connector, uh, since it's only for output, but you also have the forward Dante output. So you could technically connect um, an additional uh, DBT04, and you will get four additional analog output. 